Welcome back to film multiverse still flying the incandescence. We're doing good ish. Uh, we figured out that fire is pretty darn bad for us because there's no airlocks and nobody here is actually good at fighting fires. Which is why we got the uh, uh, which is why we got the fire extinguisher augment. Well, the internal upgrade, I guess. Uh, do we want to do Zoltan Sector? Or do we just want to move on to the Ooh thing? We might want to just move on to Hector Mega Market now, right? Sure. We don't have to do this, but I do want to find another modular thing. Three cheers for shield piercing, especially the kind that you don't know is there. gonna take a child a hostage. We're not into that. So we're on the lookout for not ASB. But here it is anyways. So box mode does not protect from the poison on the ship. Cool. See, they're going down quite well. Let's see. Accuracy. Two, four, six. So we have room for cloaking, yeah. And then one more. 
No way we have cloaking. <laughs> you can get hacking on mind control now and be done with that. For the fact that we've been in this sector the last run as well, then probably would remember less of it, but for now it's like, oh yes, it's this. Let's move on now. Something just did three ion damage to my shields. What the heck, dude? Okay, I'm still very much interested in Fire Moth. Here we go. Thank you, Nod Laser. You served me well. That means we can go... Well, we have to go this, or we have to go down. What's the yellow? The yellow is not the... Um, yellow is not the exit. It's also not where Billy is. So this thing stuns and starts fires. Which means I definitely value it more than the anti hold. Some extra goodies. Okay, um, next up we probably want to get another layer of shields, it's been a bit overdue. Uh, Cursely Hector Station by offering free refuelings to passing ships. Could be these slugs aren't greedy like the rest of the sector. Let's see what happens. Uh, your stops are customary can't leave you between depth detector industries and thus the free discount this fuel has been rendered void as such you price natos to around all of your scrap pay up. No. We'll pay you when weapons fire. We'll even throw in a bonus. job wasn't worth it anyways, I'm normally, formally resigning, you wouldn't kill this in another place. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, 
okay, so last time we helped the Zoltan. Let's help the Hector ship. Out of curiosity, and because last time we had the same event and we helped the Zoltan ship. Which thanked us for protecting copyright laws or trademark laws, one of those. So I kind of want to see what happens when we pick the other side. <laughs> Those dumbass old thought they were so clever, coming in here saying nonsense like you can't just say you trademarked something, you have to actually go through a legal process. Oh, <laughs> what malarkey. Anyways, uh, here's some garbage or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Good old Hector, guys. I'm gonna go this way and see if I can do both of these, because I think one of these will be Billy. Because I remember last time it was not in a nebula. Those are a group of civilians, likely victims of Hector as well, are trapped inside an abandoned warehouse, being guarded by a set of fellow well-armed civilians. The leader is a bulky human with a bright blue mohawk and Hector logo tattooed on both of his arms. What's happening? Before you're allowed to enter the warehouse, you're stopped by the same man you saw earlier. You, you, are you loyal to the one, the only Hector? Do you grovel at the feet of the great Hector clan? No. I should have said yes on that one. Oh, hey, it's you. Um, yeah, so we should be getting contract number five from you then, huh? Oh, number four. Number four. I was a craftsman. Uh, yeah, they don't say what it is. Let's see, is there anything good in here? So slow but self reliant, adaptive be uh, phase. Nah. Thunder Shock Drone. Hey, it's the Billy thing. Ow. Well, if there was ever a good room for you to land in, it's gonna be that one. Except for the fact that there's no auction in there. Okay, that's a problem then. Okay. They gave the same weapon, huh? What the damage you grow the uh
Well, I could've gone worse. There you go. <laughs> These guys suffocate really fast and I did not see the second breach there. <sighs> well, <laughs> oops. Uh, we're going to step towards establishing you that might find the biggest place less of hell to work at. Fortunately, our boss. If you receive and acknowledge our efforts, will you have to encourage him for us? Just make sure you don't kill him, otherwise this will all have been pointless. Okay. Let us show you where their boss... The us show you where their boss is located and reinforce that you must not kill him. Okay. Can do. Surrender though, because otherwise they will die. Okay, bring news to the lizards. Don't cause much celebration among the lizards, though not all are happy. Some are afraid slugs will keep this word and request to be escorted out to sacred by you. You agree? One of the lizards even wants to stick around. The usual lizard begins to sing the door open song. Yep. Look, the door opened. Guard pet. For great Vunk, I pledge dutiful support. I will be great fighter at your side. Are you good at fighting? What is your spiel? Extra health, a little bit of extra combat damage. And they regenerate. Okay. Cool. You can be on doors then. Seems like our transport nearby is broadcasting the stress signal. Upon hailing the frustrated captain, appears to be wiping blood from his face. A renegade! Not really what I was looking for, but whatever. Our shipment is in revolt. Okay. And it's screwing up our time schedule. Just favor and calm it down. Your shipment? Yeah, we're bringing in more lizards. Billy had some dumb rule against breeding them, but I don't know how he expects us to get more workers then. Look, yet it is busy, so HQ is having us bring some more in under the radar so we don't have to pay them more. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that. I didn't authorize this. Oh crud. You have the boss on your ship. Yep. But I guess I'm fired, huh? Well, as I said, well, off to the employment line I go. <laughs> this legs hang up and escape. <laughs> After ejects from the ship. See, that was a rather quick way of handling that. Yeah. Uh, check on the lizards. With slugs are gone, you board the transport to see what remains. Some of the lizards are wounded, dead, or dying, but a number still live. You go one by one, freeing them until you stumble upon a giant creature in the very back of the cargo bay. So they're for sure, but twice size, all the others are much more lethargic. You one of them? The giant lizard speaks, its deep voice seems to reverberate with wisdom and age. Uh, rude, I'm sorry. I am Vunk. Okay, so Guard Pit knows who that is. A lizard, I most certainly am, yes, but not of the kind you've seen thus far. The females of the species are much older, much wiser, and much larger. It seems though the slugs have not yet stooped to the levels of systematic breeding. They're hoping we might reproduce naturally within their work camps. For what use would Hector have with morals? Come, would you please free me? These poor souls are without a leader, and it seems it's my natural duty to now guide them back to our home. Free Vunk. I start to free Vunk from her cage and inquire how come you've never seen any other female lizards. Her species naturally breeds fewer females, not speak so lowly of the others, but the gap in our intelligence is often paramount. 
Nevertheless, the major key that used to thrive on our home worlds. But poaching from the AHG, slavers even before the time of Hector and ancient wars when our species have reduced our numbers greatly. With so few of us left on the home worlds, it's vital that I return. Thank you, strange but kind soul. I'm forever indebted to you. I will send you with you the most able of fighters among us to assist you. They will be loyal to your cause. Vunk motions with her giant leg. To one of the younger lizards, go now, little one. This is your new duty. Yeah, sure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Lizards. <laughs> uh, well, we got some fighters now. Yeah, boarding us is definitely not the way to take our ship down. Uh, looks like we're going to have to fight. Ah. No, Billy, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll get through this. No worries. Go, go, lizards. Okay, that was extremely lucky. Oh, those are dealing two damage. That could have killed us. Well. This thing stuns, doesn't it? Well, we do need some repairs. Shell science. Oh, look, Rome boys. Well, enough large amount of data provided by several students have been wiped by the creators of the entry point. There's some gibberish in here as well and a large warning. Print advising child to stay away. It's too late to go back now, so hopefully we don't find ourselves in a crisis situation right at the start. So we're supposedly home to the shell genocracy's finest scientists and where the primary genetic research is performed. However, the strange atlas entry here leads you to assuming something is up. Well, your radio blares brief section of the genocracy anthem followed by a distressed pre-recorded message is Professor Okali, lead researcher and spearhead of the Geniocracy Science District and Genetic Enhancement Project. Oh yeah, we're, this is the goo thing, right? If you are hearing this, I advise you leave as possible. My team and I are currently locked in Lab Omega. We made a terrible mistake, our latest creation the morphs. They've gone loose. Rush yet the rebellion has arrived from unspecified regions. The sector is not safe. Our preacher sector is not safe. Mesh is cut off and his distant shadow approaches, revealing itself to be a ship. Uh, this isn't gonna work. So what happens when you do use this then? Uh, it's highly just gonna uh, convince him that he passed. Shall attempt to speak with Morse, but that only seems to anger him further. Yeah, I thought that's what that would happen. Okay, so they're gonna board. Um, does this mean my poison doesn't work on them? Uh, no, poison still works, even if they morphed into a shell, which is <laughs> quite ironic. <laughs> even the Lannis is dying. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wonder if this is intentional. Because the Lanius are immune to it, the ghosts are immune to it. Why aren't the morphs immune? Feed the morph guard our crew on board to stop in this case. Cargo, find a weapon. Yeah, okay. Like with the morphs having reinforcements stand after using near zero, we have no idea what else you might find in this sector. Hmm. Well, thanks to inspect to see a rebel ship being the one to solicit their distress beacon on open comms. Despite being Federation, they don't seem shy to hail you either. Yeah, gross engine space gun lives there. Well, some sort of goopy insides all stuck in our engines and they're jammed. Now, no, we don't exactly get along, but there surely could be something in it for you. Alright, fine. That was more than we expected. I suppose the art of not murdering us is worthy of some pain as promised. Let's head for wherever I might find a store. Coffee bean. Not a great sucker for stores, huh? Um, normal shells aren't ones for an attack, and normally you don't see full size stars deep in a nebula. Despite both of these things being uncommon, it seems you run into both. A small shell, solar energy collection devices, or a star. And there are several power cells you might be able to interface with if you can figure this machine out. Well, we have a shell with us. Interesting. Just because we aren't sure what they want. 
They might just ask if they... What the hell? Can they morph into drones? What the heck? That's kind of cool. Hey, store. Why did we came come here? <laughs> Take a look. Sure. Um. So I guess we're not getting drone control. I completely forgot that that was an option. There's no point in keeping you around. Let's buy fuel. Let's do some bloody upgrades now. Performance upgrade. Take a second off this, so that's not bad. All right, uh, I guess we are foregoing site delta. Okay, so this is. Yeah, the bounty thing. You attempt to use drop on a nearby rock ship, but are almost deafened by the thunderous clamoring of hammers on steel. This looks like 40 master stuff, isn't it? Ship's crew are busy at work shuffling around the ship at a furious rate, or while as furious a rate as rocking can go. A gruff looking rockman appears on the screen. He wears a crimson blindfold and has two mechanical arms and one official leg. He looked like a heathen. You still hold all your limbs. Be my suspicion you ain't even the smitten sort. And it's like my limbs, what happened to yours? Welcome Bellows laughter and his countless upper join in. Suddenly his face grows serious and he jumps towards the screen. Me limbs, you want to know what happened to me limbs, eh? Then I tell you, heathen. For the great goddess, I carved out me eyes and forged them into the divine oculus. For the noble god to have lost, I ripped off me arm and with it I craft the heavenly scepter. For the Almighty Lord God, I chop off me leg and with it make the battle mix battle mix stick. There you go. Be finest creation. I tell you, heathen, if you have any hope of a blessed life, you must create. There's no place left in this forsaken land except for the most divine of visionaries. That normal chop off the limbs. I mean, normal. What left is normal. It was a peaceful time before the age of the new gods. Simple but peaceful times. Let me tell you. Then one day a rift awakened, and behold, then comes evil like you never seen. It was God who saved us, I, interlopers, to fight the interlopers. Nay, they deprave us of our limbs, yes, sacrifices must be made, suppose. But for me, they ain't about the pittance. I was a man of the craft before the coming of the age, and I'm a man of the craft now. It is my eternal quest to forge a weapon so mighty, so powerful, even the gods shall tremble before it. And then I, I lowly mortal Alof, shall become the highest lord. Sark. Sacrosanct. Is that a word? Probably. Champion of mortal men, slayer of the dreaded, the dreaded, the dreaded who? Rob Masselli tunes his voice to a whisper. He scuttles close to the mic as close as possible and whispers to her. He raises an eyebrow, but he won't elaborate. It's been a long time since the devil arrived. It's the word the heavens are guarded by a new master, a lowly form, a mortal like me who banished the devil with his arrival. Scarcely believed it, but if it's true, then it is his throne I seek, and it will be mine. Now, enough of it, this pointless banter, you pestilent questions corrupt my genius. And so you react my promise of the everlasting greatness of my genius above all else. You lower your scum, lower the lowest bits of hell, be gone with your heat. So he's probably gonna give me a gun. Hopefully, it's a good gun. I hope these aren't the guys from the Forge Master. <laughs> No, I lost son, okay. Still not great, but could be worse.
Should use the opportunity to set that on fire, but oh well. I wonder if crew killing is a possibility here. Well, it took the, wrong, the one normal rock on the entire ship to take over. Bloody genius! But yeah, let's see if you can get a crew kill here. I doubt it matters. They aren't going to stay in there, that much I know. Because they changed something about the eye that they no longer do that. I could just do that. It was the greatest visionary of our time. What have you done now? The multiverse shall never see what I was truly capable of. I could have made the multiverse something truly great. Stranger, stranger, you've done most excellent work. If only I'd been there to see it. Now the weapon seems that sort of what the hell is this thing? What kind of deranged madman would make this a lava beam? Oh, this this is something. I must study further. Anyways, here's your copy, stranger. Pleasure doing business with you. So it's a fire beam, right? Bizarre gun only conceived in the mind of a madman. Although it's merely a pinpoint beam, it's caused with a stream of super hot lava that sets anyone who touches completely on fire. We have to see that in action. It's not better than the disruptor. Hell no, but. So basically, you point this at their shield room and their shields are just gonna be gone. Damn. That's kind of nutters. Anyway, I should have ended this episode a while ago. Um, so we're going to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching the series. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.